India and Pakistan are in the world top 10 wheat producers country. Mostly four methods used to harvest the wheat in South Asia. Harvesting wheat is a really difficult process that requires pretty good preparation and decent timing. Wheat is grown all over the world. It covers more of the earth's surface than any other cereal crop. It is only the third largest cereal crop behind maize and rice. In 2016, world production of wheat was 749 million tons, making it the second most produced cereal after maize. In South Asia, mostly wheat is cultivated in indo gangetic plain, the combined delta of the Brahmaputra River Valley and the Ganga River to the Indus River Valley. The region contains the subcontinent's richest and most densely populated area. The greater part of the plain is made up of alluvial soil deposited by the three main rivers and their tributaries. Wheat grain that yield a fine white flour used chiefly in bread and baked goods. Methods of growing and harvesting wheat changed very little from ancient times. The seed was once sown by hand and harvested with the sickle. A wheat cultivator who plant very small plots of wheat for their own consumption and people who plant large fields of wheat. The process is the same. I planted about two and a half acres. We are using sickle and sickle will need to be very sharp and sharpen regularly. Grab a fistful of wheat and very carefully cutting away from yourself or to the side. Cut the wheat at the ground. Once you get a good thick handful of wheat, all going the same direction. Drop it on the ground in a pile and keep cutting. Second method to harvest wheat by small wheat cutting hand machine. Tractor mounted reaper is the third method used in India and Pakistan. Weather is hot, temperature around 35 to 45 degrees Celsius in April and May. We are making straw rope during the midday break. After cutting the wheat by three methods, we tie the bundles into shapes. We are tying the bundles into shaves, comes along, picks up the bundles and ties them into shaves using the straw.
We make pretty small, medium and big shaves as it is easy for the thrashing machine. After cutting and tying the bundles into shape, many cultivators ship the wheat one place by donkeys, tractor trolleys and camels. The camels facing difficulties to find work nowadays because people prefer to use tractor trolley or other sources. If dry wheat is left out in the field too long, winds and storm can destroy the crop. The quality of the wheat may decrease if the wheat gets rained on and then dries again. Wheat sheaves are fed into the thrasher from the fields. Wheat thrasher machine is separating grains and wheat straw. Nowadays, the last method to harvest the wheat is by combined harvest machine. The whole process is done with one swoop by a combine which combines all of the steps including thrashing and winnowing in a single pass by the machine.
del mundo. Wheat straw making machine complete the process of harvesting wheat. The wheat straw made by Thrasher is being shipped to store by horse, car, tractor trolleys. The truck supplies the wheat straw to the big cities. Thanks for watching my video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thoroughly. Bye.